Hey guys. Today our topic is types of concrete. So move towards our today's topic. <laughs> types of concrete. There are various types of concrete used in construction. Normal strength concrete, plain or ordinary concrete, reinforced concrete, pre-stressed concrete, precast concrete, lightweight concrete, high density concrete, air and trained concrete, ready mix concrete, volumetric concrete, pumped concrete, normal strength concrete. This concrete combines all the basic ingredients such as concrete, sand and aggregates using a 1.2.4 ratio. This general strength produces concrete. It takes about 30 to 90 minutes to set, but is dependent on weather conditions, on the concrete site, and cement properties. It is commonly used for pavements or buildings that do not require high tensile strength. This is not very good for many other structures because it does not withstand the stresses created by wind loading or vibration. Plain or ordinary concrete. This concrete also uses a common mixture design of 1, 2, 4 ratio with components of cement, sand and aggregates. They are used to make sidewalks or buildings where there is not a high demand for tensile strength. It faces challenges such as general strength concrete. It does not stand up to vibration or wind loading very well. Plain or simple concrete is also used in dam construction. The durability of such concrete is very satisfactory. Reinforced concrete. This types of concrete is widely used in industry and modern construction. The strength of reinforced concrete is aided by placing wires, steel rods, or cables into the concrete before it's set. These reinforcements resist tensile forces, while concrete itself helps resist compressive forces. They form a strong bond, and two materials resist many applied forces. In short, they become a single structural element. Built in the 19th century, it dramatically changed the construction industry. Buildings, bridges and roadways depend on reinforced concrete. When you travel near a construction site, you're likely to see reinforced cement concrete with rebar. Pre-stressed concrete. Many large concrete projects use pre-stressed concrete units made using a special technique. Like reinforced concrete, it includes bars or tendons. But these straps or tendons are stressed before the actual application of concrete. When the concrete is mixed and placed, these bars are placed at each end of the structural unit where they are used. When the solid is set, this unit is put into compression. This process makes the lower part of the unit stronger against tensile forces. However, this requires heavy equipment and skilled labor. Typically, pre stressed units are built and assembled on site. They are used to construct bridges, heavily filled structures, or roofs with long spans. Pre cast concrete. This concrete is made and cast in a factory. According to exact specifications, the concrete units are then transported to the location and assembled. It is used for concrete blocks, precast walls, stair items, and poles. The advantage of using precast concrete is its quick assembly as the units are manufactured in a factory. They are of very high quality. Lightweight concrete. Lightweight concrete is any type of concrete whose density is less than. 1920 kg per meter cube made using lightweight aggregates aggregates are components that add to the density of the style of concrete these lightweight aggregates include natural materials such as scoria or pumice artificial materials such as clay and expanded shells or process materials such as vermiculite and perlite common uses for lightweight concrete include building long spanning bridge decks and building blocks it can also be used to protect steel structures. High density concrete. This types of concrete has a very specific purpose. Used in the construction of nuclear power plants. Crushed rocks are commonly used. Barites, a colorless or white material containing barium sulfate, and a major component in barium, is the most frequently employed rock. Air and trained concrete. These concrete hold billions of microscopic air cells in every cubic foot. Small air pockets relieve internal pressure on the concrete. They provide small chambers where water can diffuse when it accumulates. During the mixing process, air is entered into the concrete by adding various foaming agents. 
such as alcohol, resins, or fatty acids. This should be done under careful engineering supervision. As the concrete is mixed at the job site, the entrained air adds up to about 3% to 6% of the volume of concrete. Almost all concrete is used in cold environments or where there are freeze melt cycles. Ready mix concrete, concrete prepared and bathed in a centrally located plant is known as ready mixed concrete. This concrete is mixed and transported to the site in cement trucks, often seen on roads and highways. Once the truck arrives at the workplace, the cement can be used immediately as it does not require further treatment. Ready mix concrete is a special concrete that is mixed based on developed specifications with great precision. Forming ready mix concrete requires a centralized location where concrete can be prepared. These locations should be kept at an adjustable distance from the workplace. If concrete takes too long to reach the workplace, it will be of no use. In most cases, the workplace to do away with the preparation plant. Retired agents are sometimes used to find out how long concrete takes to set. Ready mix concrete is preferred over concrete mixing site because the mixture has high precision and minimizes confusion. At the workplace for preparing concrete, ready mix concrete can be used for buildings, roadways, walls and more. Volumetric concrete. This concrete was made as an alternative for ready mix concrete to solve the long distance problem between the concrete plant and construction sites. This requires special trucks called volumetric mobile mixers. They carry concrete material and water that will be mixed at the construction site. Volumetric concrete is extremely useful when a builder needs to mix two different types of concrete at the same site. Since concrete can be mixed and delivered as needed, this allows a truck to produce two different mixtures of concrete. It is very useful on large sites, basement construction and multi-projects where you need different types of concrete. Pumped concrete. Pumped concrete is used on the upper floors of a very tall building. It is very practical and so it can be easily transported to the upper floor through pipes. This pipe will be a flexible or rigid hose that discharges the concrete to the required area. If you enjoyed our today's video, then like and share our today's video and subscribe our channel.